Susadai, and welcome to the Comerican Podcast. To help support our work, please visit Cambo Fresh Clothing, which has created a Khmer inspired line of urban fashion. To show your Cambodian American pride and support Comerican.com, go to CambofFresh.com and use code Comerican at checkout. My name is Will Koenig. I'm a journalist and author of At Home on the Mekong. I'm here with Panit Dong, also known as Kutsal Javit, and C. Look, also mm-hmm. known as Look Bong Chuloi. They're the creators of uh, Stuff Cambodian Say. We're go- we'll go with <laughs> euphemism so we can avoid getting the uh, explicit tag on iTunes and YouTube. Uh, <laughs> feel free to be as profane as you like in Kamai. I don't think they check for that. Uh, Don't see it. Join right. <laughs> cool. All right. Uh, you two are the creators of uh, stuff Cambodian say, which is a uh, amassed what already 120,000 or so views in the past week or two. So, what's it like to be an internet meme? Yeah, I caught up. Internet what? Meme. Meme star. Oh, me, me, What's you're it, a meme. I'm yeah. a star. <laughs> What's it like to be an internet star? Mm, you first. He, he achieved uh, superstar in first. I'm just riding his coattails. Uh, just happened uh, like so quickly. I'm, um, it still feels like unreal. Like I'm getting all these uh, new subscribers, new new likes on Facebook. People are randomly hitting me up, and um, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, for me, you know, we, we I mean, we've both been doing other forms of entertainment for years, and. You know, we get excited with like 300 views a night. We used to go crazy, you know what I mean? And he woke yeah. up to like 15,000. <laughs> like, what the? And uh, yeah, it's just it's just a different animal, this, this viral world. I mean, over 2,000 people have shared these videos on their walls. It's just mind blowing. And, you know, we're just trying to keep up with the demand right now. So that's, that's the hard part. But we're enjoying the hell out of it, I guess. Mm-hmm. All right, for, for people who are not familiar with it, what inspired this video? Oh, that whole trend that was going on with the things people do, say things, uh, you know, New Yorkers say or things Asian people say. Um, I was just uh, testing my, uh, I thought it would be interesting doing a, you know, stuff Cambodian folks say because I looked online and there, was, there wasn't any, um, no one doing it yet, so I just doing it for fun. It wasn't expecting that kind of feedback overnight. All right. Where did you get your source material? What? Who says this stuff uh, to you? Was it your parents, aunts, uncles? Basically, my parents. Uh, those are like the exact words from my folks. Um, my 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 father yelling at me growing up. So. That's why I think it went viral because a lot of people could relate and they're like, oh, man, that's, that's, that's exactly like my dad. You know, they're saying like, you know, a lot of people relating to it because it hits, it hits home. Yeah, pretty much just our parents. Um, it, for me, it's a, it's a little bit different because my, uh, my mom's first language actually wasn't Khmer. She was part of a Muslim community, but uh, I got enough of it from my, my, my relatives and, and what I heard. So... Just, just the community where we were living in was always, we, I mean, I grew up bilingual, so I'm still not comfortable speaking English to my parents, so yeah, that's where it came from, all the uh, mischief we went through and what we heard. So you're he saying... got more trouble than I did, I'm sure. Yeah, the yeah. bad kid. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying this is definitely part of the culture, this kind of language, this kind of the way that parents talk to their kids? <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's pretty brutal. I mean, it's, there's no translate. It's really hard to translate. We're having a tough time uh, from the caption in because some of the words are so complex and so hurtful that uh, I don't even know how to translate to English. Yeah, you have to get into the culture. But I mean, one of them, what was that? Satli de Chan. So yeah, yes. yeah. I mean, that's like that's like being one of Satan's minions or something like. It's like pretty bad. <laughs> uh, but uh, what was the question again? <laughs> Well, that's, that's oh yeah uh, no no I was gonna, I was just gonna say that uh, one of the most liked comments right now in part two 
is that um, they say, well, somebody said, you know, it sounds far less abusive in, uh, in Khmer than it does in English because we just recently put the captions on there and it just sounds so, so brutal. Uh, but really, it's, a, it's really not as bad, but I, I don't know. There's just <laughs> no real extremes in Khmer, I guess. I don't know why it comes out so badly when you translate it. Have your parents seen the video? I don't think mine have. They, it's funny the the videos that that I have uh, and my mom could speak to. It was a uh, usually it gets to my family in France first, and then they go nuts about it, and then they send it back to. Me. I, I usually keep this uh, uh the, the filthier stuff away from my parents, but they end up seeing it anyway. So. Yeah. Uh, my nieces and nephews on Facebook uh, saw it, so I'm pretty sure it, it, it transferred to like my older brothers, and um, I'm not sure about my mom yet. She doesn't have internet or anything, but um, <laughs> friends of the family probably seen it. And they showed their parents, so that's just as bad. <laughs> yeah, biggest compliments we've gotten is that people come up and have told us that they showed their parents this, and their parents started, you know, crying after watching it uh, out of laughter, not uh, a pain and suffering or anything. But uh, <laughs> uh, and most recently, we just had a fan video released today <laughs> of a grandma and a grandpa saying their own uh, pretty. Uh, I don't do gang. <laughs> yeah, grandpa saying I don't do gang and grandma pretending to be a racist. That's uh, it was pretty funny. It's a 14 second video. Look for it. it. It should be related to ours by now. Yeah. Well, it sounds like it's gone viral everywhere. Who do you think is watching it, and why do you think it resonates so much with the community? Um, I yeah, again, it's just uh, this is that nostalgia that we're, we're bringing back. Um. Uh, you know, when, when you were a kid, it's just, you know, if we just started talking about, you know, 8-bit Nintendo, you know, that conversation can go on for about an hour. It's the same thing with this, you know, you talk about, you, know, you say these things and it's just like, and you haven't heard it in so long because our generation, I mean, we're, we're, you know, later 20s and stuff and, you know, we've just been away from parents for, for so long and then it, it just, it feels good and it's hilarious at the same time. Just, it just reminds you, know, remind you of mom and stuff like that. So I think that's why it resonates. Right. Have you seen a different reaction between uh, Cambodians and, or people of Cambodian descent in the U.S. and France versus people in Cambodia? Um, well, uh, the language, I mean, for the most part, I think we stuck with, uh, uh, straight Khmer, and we've we received compliments about our, our uh, Khmer too. How well we spoke, yeah, because <laughs> yeah, we were trying to emulate it as closely as possible to what uh, uh, you know our, how our parents pronounce words. But it, it's some of the language is Americanized, and the most popular phrase is "and gang." And gang. Yeah, that the word "gang" is you know the English word for gang, so. That that might you know go, which is the most popular phrase that we have in the videos. It probably goes over the heads of some others, but whatever. They enjoy the rest of it. So, all right. So, do you guys consider yourselves to be spoken word artists or musicians, or how would you define what you are? I mean, me myself, I. At this point, you know, I've done music, you know, C.L.U.K., whatever, blah, blah, blah. I've been 10 years, and it's just like, at this point, I only started rapping to get in the movies anyways, and uh, I'm perfectly content calling myself an entertainer, however it, it, it comes about, so be it. And from the views that we've gotten on this, I think I've wasted the last 10 years of my life doing the wrong thing. So, I don't know, call me whatever you want, but I, I'd like you to call me rich in a few months, so... <laughs> Yeah, I'm an entertainer, so. I was just so. kidding about the money, but yeah, we just, yeah, I don't know. Uh, we have other stuff. I mean, I, my passions uh, uh, in other arts will always be there, but, you know, you can't be making somebody laugh. Uh, it just feels great that you can do that. I mean, people talking about, you know, I literally pooped my pants watching this video. I mean, <laughs> uh, I feel like we can continue to do that, and uh I'm perfectly content. If this is what I do for the rest of my life, dump all the other stuff. Cool. <laughs> so what are your plans going forward? Are you going to do more with this? Or are you going to expand this? What other plans oh, yeah. do you have? Well, let me show you all. We are on the set right now. Of... Oh, yeah, that's a cool umbrella. You see that right there? Oh, snap. Look at this. Oh, oh there's a lights back there, too. Whatever. <laughs> but, yeah, we got 
have this green screen going on, and you'll see what we'll be doing with it soon enough. We are filming Hella Chloe, the video today. The music um, video was in demand, so I had to give it to him. Yeah, in very high demand. It was the song that came at the end of part two, and... Um, with it's, the Lil Wayne cover, How to Love. And these will be the main characters that we'll be working with because we know the Jason that we're appealing to, uh, this idea of being Chloe. So that's what we're doing. We're just going to develop these characters. Of Define Chloe. Chloe, you know, it's, it's uh, extremely rude, but to like a whole other extent. You know, friend us on Facebook, the Hello Chloe crew, and you'll, you'll, you'll see an in-depth analysis and definition <laughs> of Company that. Company overview on Facebook. <laughs> uh, but... Yeah, uh, and consider it, it's like it's like we're the the Cambodian Borats, you know what I mean? Just uh, we're, we're uh, being jerks and stuff, but you know, at the same time, we'll we'll, st we'll still do other videos as well, um, just more more universally appealing. But uh, we'll see where this one goes. It's a it's a little turn for now uh, from from what we've done with the last two videos, but we'll definitely be looking out for part three as well. And we want to announce too that we uh, we just got approved through Kickstarter to start a fundraiser. So. Um, that's going to be starting off very shortly. Right now, we're still filming with a flip cam. I got, you know, $100 worth of lighting and stuff. It looks decent, but really, we have nothing. So we really want to expand and just grow into films, whatever it may be. You know, I've been writing for years, and, you know, Memo's been waiting to break out into his, his acting shoes. Yeah, yeah, I've always wanted to learn how to act. I did high school drama, but um, that's about it. And under c -Look's direction, I think uh, it would be a good team, um, you know. Yeah, just a whole Chloe enterprise, you know, whatever that may be. Uh, but mainly just just film work, comedy work, whatever, you know. But but, but the, the bulk of it is just going to be making people laugh. That's that's the main goal. Are you guys available for uh, bookings? Do you guys perform comedy clubs, weddings, other events? Uh, well, we're hoping to do all of that stuff, you know, uh, just if the... Uh, you know, if you got enough for for travel and whatnot, and we're there, we're there. Uh, book us up, we'll entertain the heck out of you. You know what I mean? Make it a, a night to remember whatever event you may have, especially with Cambodian New Year coming around the corner. That's right. Uh, All right. If people want to contact you or follow you, what's the best way for them to get more information? Uh, just we're gonna we are launching Chloe Films. Tonight, I believe, or tomorrow. Yes. Uh, C the YouTube channel. Yeah, YouTube channel C H L U Y Films, and uh, that, there's a Gmail attached to that too, right? Yeah, it's Kasolchivet at Gmail dot com. Yeah, you can do um, so Kasolchivet at Gmail dot com. That's you know, uh, or uh, through the Chile Films, just send a message through YouTube. Uh, we should be able to hit you right back. Otherwise, you know, yeah, Facebook. Whatever. Yeah. I, I I think if you look up the word Chloe, we pretty much dominate the search in the, the Google world. The Google search, right? yeah. You'll, have <laughs> You'll see our face. I don't think we have much Definitely. Chloe competition out there, so let alone Cambodian, you know, uh, uh, comedians that are really doing it big right now. Cambodian American, anyhow. All right. Well, thanks for taking time out of your filming to uh, talk with me. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Our pleasure. Anything you guys want to add? Yeah. Shout out to American. Shout out to Camerican, yeah. Campbell Fresh. Campbell Fresh. Check it out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Hellachile.com will, will take you to our fan page. And we'll, so you just like us, inbox us, comment. That's it. Just keep showing love, keep spreading the videos, and that's it. We'll keep making them as long as the demand's there. That's all for this podcast. For the latest news about what is happening in the Cambodian-American community, go to Comerican.com. Theme music courtesy of Bochan Hui. For more information, go to BochanMusic.com. Namo no pram.